So what was the problem with this headliner? The customer, uh, this car, sorry, this car came with a Webasto sunroof from the factory. Tilt and go inside the roof type of thing. You know, it dropped down and went inside the roof and then it tilted up. The problem was it was so neglected, all the mechanism was broken. And of course, they only made them for two years and then they went on to a different model and completely different style. Uh, I don't know who made them. I wasn't really interested in the later one. But the problem was, what were we going to do? Now, at that time, Ludi had a, sun, a, a complete roof for a short wheelbase Range Rover in the back of his shed uh, with no sunroof aperture in it. And I said to the customer, get that, put that on, end of story. Because sunroofs leak. We all know, Land Rover, sunroofs equals leak. So she didn't want to do that, she wanted a sunroof. And I said, well, I can't get that one to work. I can't get bits for it. And even if I got a later one, I'd have to get a complete roof working, tilt mechanism and everything. But I said, I can't guarantee it from not leaking. See my dilemma. So what we came up with, as you saw in a video once before, Ludi and I cut, we, we got hold of a, an aftermarket sunroof that's just a simple fixing, lift up and tilt. You know, it, like it opens up and that's it. And it's an American made one. Uh, and it's sort of nice and nicely shaped and it doesn't leak as that's what we've been leak testing for the last year outside and it's been fine. So that was just the start of our problems because what I didn't realize was the aperture for the sunroof here was a lot larger. Let's rearrange the camera. I'll go and show you my dilemma. So Jim and I were working on this over the weekend because I'd actually been thinking about this for weeks and weeks and weeks. How am I going to make a nice job of the sunroof, of the roof lining to fit the new fixed sunroof. Because the fixed sunroof came with a sort of a metal type trim that clipped around the headliner, because it was a retrofit, that means you put it in, after, it's an aftermarket type thing. But the hole was already in here, but it wasn't the right dimensions. So that was out. Also, the trim that came with it wasn't deep enough. It only allowed for a, a sort of a thin wafer of headlining. But we had a gap because of the depth of the original sunroof. Are you with me? So what, we, what I had a problem with was how am I going to get the, the roof trimmed? Not really a problem. But how am I going to hold the headlining up around the sunroof? Problem. The first problem to encounter was the gap between the bottom of the sunroof and the bottom of uh, the top of the liner. There was a half inch gap. Now originally I was thinking about making something out of wood so that I could screw it to the roof and then somehow find some sort of a trim to go around this and then screw the trim to that, which meant a lot of screws and a lot of wood and bonding and woodwork and stuff like that. And a lot of work. Then one night I had a bit of an epiphany. And after that, I thought of something. Why not use styrofoam? Now, before I do that, just if you can see here, we've got some chalk marks here of the original width of the sunroof. Maybe, maybe I'll zoom out a bit. Whoop. There. So this is this is where the original sunroof went to here. All right. We've cut it back to here to fit the new sunroof. So what we did was we, we did some chalk lines and we drilled a couple of holes because we know we're going to cover these over later to screw this up to hold it up while we were working on it. So let me flip this over and I'll show you the problem, my solution it seems to work quite well. Now, I know it looks like a mess but you'll never see it anyway. What we did was we got some... Um, half inch styrofoam or polystyrene insulation and bonded it to the roof with uh, Gorilla Glue con construction adhesive. Now remember, styrofoam, polystyrene, it doesn't like a lot of glue so there was only Gorilla Glue that we could use. That worked really well. So for three quarters of it, it worked out quite nice. The front though was an absolute nightmare. 
you can see that we've been slowly filling it up with spray foam to find a level and then chopping it down because spray foam is a great stuff to work with and I know it looks like rubbish but when you see the other side you'll, you'll see it was okay so what we had was originally we continued this to come up half inch at the front wrong because on the Sunday when the glue was dry we tried it in again and we've got the aperture absolutely spot on so we couldn't get the front on the front leading edge here of the, 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 the roof was down about this far so that prompted us to keep trimming this styrofoam down with a bread knife <laughs> till we got it to fit oh man we had it in and out and in and out and in and out you see, what it is, so you've seen this bit, but the problem was trimming it down, what we didn't realise we are so preciously close to the sunroof opening here, you know, well, not the sunroof opening, I've got sunroof on my mind the, the, wind, the, the sun visors sit into this pocket so we couldn't <laughs> come any further however, we sort of banged our heads together and came up with it and I... This, this pan, panel here, that panel, oh, you can't see it, can you? This panel here was for a plastic panel that looks like crap that had the sunroof operation in it and the light. So what I did was I bonded a piece of aluminium to the underside of the sunroof, sprayed it, filled it full of spray foam, and then when we cover this, now this is a test piece of material, we cover this with this, you can see you hide all that and also your corners are going to come really really nice so don't be put off by what it looks like now because once we get this on it's going to look superb because the backing foam takes off a lot of discrepancies so once we've got that on to there, that on to there put the light in there it's going to look the dogs do that I'll just do a quick edit here because I forgot to put this in so in my thoughts how I'm going to do this sunroof, how I'm going to hold it up here's a section of uh, typical ma material, it's not the right colour but it's the typical stuff and you can see how lovely it forms around corners and bends, it will just take up that shape so what we intend to do is glue it just onto this edge round here but leave a big overlap and then you'll see in the car how I intend to hold the sunroof up and it's going to work so this is how I'm going to get it to do work I've just used a piece of white wire for now because I haven't got any piping but there's a gap all the way around here fold the roof lining material in and with a piece of black wire or a bit of black beading or something like that push that in and that is going to keep that sunroof material up and it's going to keep the sunroof up because look at the surface area you've got to pull on all the way around there like I say that's white wire it's just that's all I had at the moment but uh, I think it's going to look smart you can see on this end here where I double folded it over we could trim that back with a Stanley knife or a little sharp exacto but a bit of black piping and even Jim said he could make a bit of black piping to go into that and fill that gap in and it'll be really tight and the thing is if we ever need to take the sunroof down again we can easily unclip it and put it back in again but we've made it so that the sunroof is very tight to the bottom of that uh, we've made the headlining very tight to the bottom of that sunroof so there's, there should be no flapping about or anything like that so that's what we've been up to it's not been sort of drinking beer and things like that, it's been a lot of thought because I can't put the seats in until I've got this in because they're a bugger to do as me and Jim found out over the weekend so I know this video has been a bit long and things like that but that's really what we've been up to and quite frankly it was so bloody boring I didn't film anything uh, I'm so close oh and of course the new battery that we put on I was trying to find out some electrical faults with the car, you know, trying to do diagnostics, make sure the lights are all working at the back before we put the sunroof in, uh, before we put the headlining in, and I'm fanning about there and I think, oh, why doesn't this work, why doesn't this work, and the battery was dead. The battery died on us. Literally, 
Nothing, zero volts. And I thought I'd left the key in the ignition, kill the battery. <laughs> it, wasn't that, it just died. I don't know, I've never seen one go like that before. So we're waiting for a new battery because the batteries I've got, the poles are all along the wrong way around. Oh, it's a very demoralizing job. But once we get this done, oh, and also the speaker holes here and here, they line up beautifully with the brackets that's in the back because it didn't have brackets before. These speaker holes were just cut straight into the material, which means it sags and pulls down the headliner. See, all these things you've got to think of way in advance. But we're getting there. We're getting there. There's not much to do now. There's not much to do now. We are waiting for a couple of bits of trim. If I've got enough life in this battery, I'll show you which ones I'm stuck for because I'm really am stuck for this and somebody out there might have one. What I'm looking for is this threshold panel here. It's in extra it extruded aluminium and it's missing for that side over there. Uh, it didn't come with the car. When we got the 95, uh, they wouldn't fit for the back doors because the back doors are actually longer on the 95. Uh, I'm just looking for one of them. If anybody's got one, knows where there is one, please let me know. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but <laughs> we've got everything out. Oh, that's, see, that's the diagnostic plug for the ABS. You can't plug an OB8, OBD2 into it. Hmm, problem, eh? It looks worse than it is, but never mind. This is what you get when you're looking for wiring problems and things. Right, signing off. See ya.